Hey YouTube, how are y'all doing today? This is gonna be a quick, simple, easy way to edit v in videos in Visa or XP Windows. I will do Mac soon, and I'll do more videos soon. Okay, as long as you guys give me suggestions and please subscribe. Okay, once you import a video into Windows Movie Maker, it'll make it into clips of segments and stuff, right? So that way, it makes it easier to preview it and it'll manage it better so that way it'll be ready to edit you can also preview it by pressing on the clip and then pressing play right here that way you can see it and once you pick the clip that you want and like you just click on it and drag it into the story box and it automatically puts it in and then you just put it all in the storyboard and you will get your video and then you press play to preview it but if you want to edit it further like a part that you don't want in it just do this to edit it you want to click on the show storyboard and it'll go to the editing spot move up to the preview window right about here and scroll to and then scroll up to the point that you want to start editing so let's say it's tears from the beginning and you want to scroll all the way over here because this is the part that you don't want or something you click there and you scroll all the way up to there then on the clip menu right here on the clip menu, you're gonna wanna click on set start trim point so you're gonna wanna first go to where you wanted to scroll up to to begin editing and then you go click on the clip as I said and go to set trim start point so that way it starts from there See, as you see, it's starting. Then you go back to the preview window, and then you go to the one that you you scroll to the point that you want to end with it. Then on the clip menu, you're going to want to go to set and trim point. Set and trim point. Okay, make sure. So that way, it ends and it cuts that piece out. Then, it will be trimmed, so that way, it is now ready. Then now you're ready to put music or anything else you want to put in it. Now you're going to want to go into the capture video area and go to import audio or music. Then it navigates to your sample music or any type of music. And this way you can click on here or any of your folders that you have or any documents that you have of whatever type of music that you want. And then, then you click on it and then press import. So music, a uh, movie maker will automatically import it to your movie selection. All right. So then you click on it and then you're going to drag it into wherever you want to start it from in anywhere in any place of your movie. But you're going to want to make sure you put it into your auto audio part of the place. So you're going to have to put it in this line right here. And if the audio is too big for your videos, you're going to want to scroll it all the way to the left of right here where it ends or wherever yours ends at. Okay, well now you want to make it more like a pro and realistic so you don't just want to have no ordinary music video or anything like that you want to have effects with things that can change all right so that way when you go to the next scene it makes like a flip or something like that you guys want that right well listen now you're gonna want to click on one of the edit movie areas you can go to view video edit, I mean view video effects view video to installations or whatever that says make titles or credits make an auto movie so what do you so what do you want to do first is go to video translations and pick any of these video translations you have you have many many different video translations you got checkerboard circle circles and a whole bunch you pick the one that you guys want and you just put it into one of these boxes that are right here you don't put it in here because it won't do it. You gotta put it in one of these so that way when it switches to the next thing, one of these activates. But you're like, oh, this is not gonna make sense. What if I don't know how it looks? You just click on it and you go to the preview box and you press play. And before I say anything else, you can put more transitions. You don't have to, you can't, it doesn't matter if you put one or two or three, you can put as many as between as you can. And now you're wondering, 
how can I make a title or credits? You go to the edit movie and you, t and you click on make titles or credits. So now this is how it's going to look. If you want your title or credits or whatever to be in in a movie in the beginning of the movie you go to add title at the beginning of the movie or add title before the selected clip on the storyboard or add title on the selected clip on the storyboard or extras like whatever it has multiple choices that where you can put the titles or credit or whatever so this way when you click on one of them it'll give you what to write it on so it'll be right here and you write it and you go to the preview and it shows you what you're writing now you're like that's not enough right so a movie maker you can change the way it comes out you go to change the title animation or change the text file and color and it'll work a variety of anim when you go to an animation you could put fade in fade out or any other type of the animations that they have and when you're done you just click on done Add title to the movies on the left corner side. Left hand side, I meant. Now you want your video to have an effect or something. Well, you go to video effects and it has blur or has many different type of things that you can do. Like paint or anything like that. And you click it and you drag it into in here. So that way it'll show inside the little star. And once that little star, like, it either shows a light or something. And it'll show you which one you put it in now that's pretty much all it and if you want to put it on youtube or anything the video you're gonna have to save it and then go to youtube upload and then go to the file that you saved it under and ta-da you have a perfectly edited video of your choice that you wanted and you put it up on youtube so please subscribe enjoy vote i mean and do whatever comment please comment and please subscribe all right